Good evening, uh, Victor Alpha 3, Oscar Romeo. Victor Alpha 3 Station, come back again with a call sign. Uh, Victor, Echo 3. Victor Alpha 3, Oscar Romeo. Victor Alpha 3, Oscar Romeo. Uh, what's the name there, sir? Name's Kevin Jim, and uh, I've been playing around with this radio for a long time, and uh, uh, I've, uh, I've, I've found you on here a couple of times and haven't, haven't had the opportunity to... Uh, let you uh, help me out. Uh, Roger, sir. Well, I'm copying you real well, like at 12, uh, 13 over uh, my noise level on my uh, uh, magnetic loop antenna. So uh, uh, I would suggest, uh, what radio are you running, sir? FTDX uh, 1200, the uh, Yezu. All right, I would uh, engage the uh, compressor at about a 3. Turn that compressor on and adjust to about a three. Okay, and uh, the, it is engaged. Already at a three, and then uh, go to your ALC and adjust with your mic gain, your ALC reading uh, to be between uh, mid scale to two thirds. Okay. Set the uh, set the uh, ALC reading so it's swinging inside of operating parameters and uh, go from there. Roger. Uh, yeah, mid scale to two thirds. If you can envision an area between mid scale and two thirds, that would be the uh, the sweet spot that you're looking for. Roger. Okay. Copy. All right. And uh, tell me about your antenna system. I'm running a uh, doublet, homemade doublet. Uh, the uh, the wire the wire coming back down is a uh, about uh, five five hundred and ninety ohms uh, to a four to one pal star balance, and then uh, about a twenty five twenty to twenty five foot uh, piece of coax back into the shack with the uh, AT two K. Uh, Roger. Okay, I have a very good copy on you now. So, uh, do you know how to get to your uh, EQ? Sorry, I missed that. Jim, go ahead. Roger, do you know how to uh, get to your EQ? Yes, I do. Uh, uh, EQ, and looking for... Uh, oh, boy. These radios are fun. They, that's the beauty of the Yezu. Uh, you're looking for... Um, uh, EQ with, uh, alright, here we go. Roger, Roger, did you find it? Yep, go ahead. Okay, uh, first off, um, uh, we want to add, uh, about, um, oh, give me 3 dB boost from where you are, plus 3 from where you are on the top end. Okay, hang on a second here. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Jim. Yezu problem. So, so I'm looking for on the top end. Um, yeah. Top end, uh, add three. Yeah, is, is that a what? Uh, is that a two band, three band, or eight band EQ? So just the uh, just just the radio itself um, uh, on an FTX 1200. So what it has is the uh, the EQ band. Uh, there's there's three or four settings above. And then, and then uh, uh, three or four settings with with the uh, the processor on. So it's kind of it's kind of split between uh, between the uh, settings. Okay. Uh, before we go anywhere else, uh, maybe uh, you should check to be sure that your uh, bandpass is uh, is 100 to 2900. Roger. I have it set at uh, uh, 100 to 2900 right now. Go ahead. 
Okay, and what I'm looking for is a, a, a little syllabic uh, increase there. So um, I'm assuming that you that radio has uh, has uh, more than three band EQ. Is that a Roger? Sorry, sorry, but I can't help you with that one, Jim. I don't uh, I don't know uh, the, whether it's three band EQ or what that means. It means uh, how many uh, uh, adjustable pots you have in your equalizer. Some radios just have a treble and a bass uh, uh, equalization control. Some have uh, a, a treble, mid-range, and bass control. And then some have uh, eight bands of uh, tone control. Roger. Okay, this one has, and let me pull the books out here, but it shows uh, it shows three, three per each, and it shows... Oh, uh, let me see here. Let me pull it out. It shows uh, different Q and different uh, high and different mid, and there's three settings for each. Roger. All right. <laughs> let me fade back and punt. You're close enough. <laughs> Don't change a thing. You're close enough, Roger. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Jim. I've, I've actually, I've tried to uh, get a hold of you a couple of times that you've been so busy and so many people. I, uh, I just wanted to see what everybody thought to, uh, to, to adjust this thing to the, to the mid-level, but you, uh, you, you definitely seem to know what you're talking about, and you're, uh, you're fixing everybody up quite well, and thanks for that. Roger, Roger. Well, sometimes I, I, uh, I just uh, turn and run <laughs> when things, when the going gets rough. I have been known to go over the hill and and <laughs> put a put a blanket over my head and call it even. But anyway, I think you sound great. Uh, and uh, if you go to YouTube and uh, do a call letter search for KC9VKV, that will take you to a QSO Vlog page. And on that page, you'll be looking for a QSO entitled My Group Air Check 11. 119, which is today's date. My group air check 11119. Roger. Perfect. Thank you very much, Jim. Honestly, though, straight up, uh, I'm I'm not I'm not a person to say that uh, uh, I'm going to be offended. Yeah, tell me tell me straight up if you want me to go uh, more highs, more lows, more mid. Just uh, lay it on me. Uh, I, you're perfect. I, I wouldn't change it. I, I was just uh, experimenting with you, uh, just uh, out of curiosity. But uh, you know, you are, you are, your uh, audio is well balanced. It has a nice bite. Not a bunch of bottom end, but I don't, uh, I don't like a bottom end because uh, in the bad conditions, uh, bad QRM, bad noise, uh, a lot of bass just tends to muddy out, and uh, really uh, actually hinders the intelligibility. The the intelligibility of the situation, you know, and uh, Mother Nature sometimes works another trick in that uh, she has uh, a phase angle cancellations that uh, not all of your signal is reflected back at the same time. Some of your signal might go on before it's reflected back. So when it comes back and joins with the earlier reflected, uh, they tend to, if they're not in the same phase angle, and they won't be because because one is delayed just a tad from uh, coming back, uh, it uh, starts to cancel. It's, it's coming back out of phase with uh, the majority of the signal, but it starts to cancel the audio, and it starts at the top end. So all of that syllabic range uh, is uh, suffers when Mother Nature does uh, fango, uh, phase angle uh, cancellation. So I usually try to start with a little bit more top end than what I would think I would need, just because I know Mother Nature is out there ready to pull her pranks on me. Roger. Perfect. Thank you very much, Jim. I really do appreciate it. And uh, all, all, everything you said, it, uh, it found home. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, excellent re response. Take care, Jim, and I'll let you move on with the next one. And uh, I'll be uh, listening along and uh, riding in there and seeing what we can hear. Thank you very much. Take care, and uh, we shall talk again. Uh, Victor Alpha 3, Oscar Romeo. Roger, Roger. And uh, like I say, I, I uh, was on my local receiver, and my local receiver is uh, very flat 
from audio wise from 100 uh, to in excess of three uh, so uh, unlike some of the SDRs usually on the SDRs uh, the audio for some reason is rolled off uh, uh, under 300 cycles 200 cycles they they roll off the bottom end mine is uh, flat down to a hundred so I can I can tell pretty precisely what uh, what's going on audio wise and uh, also you may notice that um, when you uh, find your uh, audio uh, on the uh, QSO Vlog uh, uh, page for 11.119, you will notice that uh, I have a, um, a spectrum analyzer incorporated into my um, uh, radio shack, and you'll see that spectrum analyzer moving around, and that's a fairly uh, effective uh, spectrum analyzer showing exactly what the, the receiver's uh, uh, doing. So uh, you can look at that also, and uh, I'll give you a hint. There are three white marks on the uh, uh, meter. Uh, the uh, uh, first one to the left is 100 cycles. The furthest one to the left is 100 cycles. As you move towards the right, the first one on the right is uh, 1KC. And then there's a black space, uh, which is uh, 2KC. And the next white mark is 4KC. So, you know, we are restricted to 3KC. So you'll see, uh, you know, fairly flat uh, at the first right mark and uh, then uh, tooling down there during that black mark and, uh, you know, probably. Uh, you know, uh, 4KC, uh, maybe just a tad there, but uh, maybe not. <laughs> That's uh, exceeding the speed limit. Anyway, uh, let me say threes, and uh, you have a, a great weekend. And uh, if you get a chance, uh, join us uh, uh, next Friday, and uh, we'll uh, compare notes. Uh, this is KC9 VKV and the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog Network. If you've got a radio you want to check out, give us a shout. KC9 VKV.